Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be explaining the 10 step Korean skincare regimen. 10 steps? That's right. That may sound excessive, and it is. That's why this video is 40 minutes long. Just kidding. I'm just going to go through my daily skincare regimen and show you what products I use. Some are Korean products and some are not. This is what has been working for me and my face. You don't have to do all 10 steps every day. If you're someone that usually gets home and uses a makeup wipe to wipe off your makeup at the end of the day, and then that's that, then 10 steps may seem super daunting to you. But you can't expect to have clear skin without investing a little time and effort into your routine. Before reading up on the 10 step skincare regimen, I thought I had a pretty decent regimen going and my skin was looking good, but since committing to doing the daily skincare regimen for about six weeks now, I've definitely noticed an improvement in my skin's texture and brightness. So I can definitely say that it works. At the end of the day, the point is basically that if you take a little extra time in the day to spend on your skincare and treat it well, then your skin will thank you. So on to my current skincare routine. All the products will be listed down below, and if you want to know about any of them in greater detail, then check out my Korean skincare haul video. Step one is oil cleanse. This is especially important at the end of the day if I've been wearing a lot of makeup. I usually use the Tatcha Pure Camilla One Step Cleansing Oil. I pump a few pumps of this directly into my hands, and then I rub it all over my dry face and really get into get the makeup off. And then I usually use a face cloth and run that under some hot water to wipe off the cleanser, or if I'm not really wearing any makeup that day, then I'll just splash it off. If there's still some eye makeup residue, then I like to use a micellar water. My favorites are the Simple Cleansing Micellar Water and the Cogendo Cleansing Spa Water. I take a bit of this on a compad or a q-tip and then just really get into the details of getting rid of the eye makeup. Step two is the second cleanse or the double cleanse. This is to get rid of any residue left over from the oil cleanser you used or any makeup that's still left on your face. Most people would use a foaming cleanser for this step or a water-based cleanser, but I usually just go back and use the same Tatcha cleanser a second time. But if you prefer to use a foaming cleanser, then that's up to you. Step three is exfoliate. This one I usually throw in once or twice a week. I like to use the Tatcha Polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. So this is like, comes in a little powder and basically you just put a little bit in your hand, add some water to make a paste and scrub that around on your face. Then you rinse it off. Step four is toner. And if toning makes you think of astringent products full of alcohol or witch hazel that sting your face, then you are like most people. But in Korea, toning is more about moisturizing. Korean toning is not meant to strip your skin of oils. It's much more gentle. In fact, most Koreans avoid using alcohol at all in their skincare products, and you should too. For toning, I like to use a moisturizing toner or an exfoliating one, like the Pixi Glow Tonic, which has 5% glycolic acid. And if I'm in a rush, then I'll just spritz on a bit of the Tata Harbor Hydrating Floral Essence instead. Step five is the essence. And this might just be the most important part of the skincare routine, or at least the most Korean part. The purpose of the essence is basically to prepare your skin to absorb the products that you're about to layer on top of it. They're usually a light gel-like or watery texture and they soak in pretty quickly. To be totally honest, I'm not sure exactly how it works, but I do know that since I started using essence daily on my face that I've noticed a change in brightness and it's definitely smoothed my skin out. In the morning, I like to use the Benton Snail Bee Essence and at night I reach for the Clinique even better essence for dry skin. I usually just put a pump, a couple pumps of this in my hands and kind of pat it in all over my face. Step six is the ampoule or serum. There are a few treatments I've been using recently that I've been enjoying. The first one is the Good Jeans Corrective Treatment from Sunday Riley. This has lactic acid in it. I also like the Kate Somerville Retosphere, which is a retinol night cream. And then I'll switch that in with the Trilogy Rosehip Antioxidant Plus Oil. So yeah, I basically just rotate these every few nights, um, depending on what I feel like using. And then in the morning, I like to use the Myzon Multifunction Formula Snail Repair Intensive Ampoule. Step seven is the sheet mask. 
This is one to just throw in every once in a while whenever you have time, hopefully about once or twice a week. There are so many sheet masks out there on the market, but my favorite one right now is the Snail Bee High Content Mask Pack. I'll usually just throw this on in the evening while I'm watching TV. Right now I'm very much enjoying Jane the Virgin. And then after about half an hour, just peel off the cloth part, throw it away, and then rub in whatever essence is left on your skin, and then continue with the rest of the skincare regimen. This is not a rinse off kind of thing. Step eight is eye cream. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Right now I'm using the Dr. Hauschka Hydrating Eye Cream. It's okay, um, I usually prefer something that doesn't have fragrance for use around my eyes. Step nine is moisturize. And this is something that you wanna tailor to your skin's individual needs. So if you have oily skin, use something a little lighter. And if you have dry skin, use something that is heavier and rich. What I've been enjoying recently is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I really like the product. I don't love that it comes in the jar because it's a little bit unsanitary. I usually use a little plastic scoop to scoop some out since I have talons and I don't want to get any product under there. And step 10 is SPF. The one I've been using recently is the Elta MD UV Clear SPF 46. And in Korea, they're super obsessed with sun care, just like me. Basically, most people never leave the house without it. It's a good idea to get in the habit of reapplying your sunscreen too if you're out in the sun for more than a couple hours at a time. And for that, a cushion compact can be useful. And thus concludes my current skincare regimen. Obviously, all this stuff isn't gonna work for everyone. The idea is to tailor it to your specific skincare needs. It may seem like a lot of steps, but it doesn't actually take that much time. I'm usually ready to go in under five minutes. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.